right now. Uh, hopefully not our swan song, but a chat nevertheless with uh, Coach Krzyzewski, Mike, of course, Duke, uh, after the wonderful Monday night game and a great Final Four. And uh, Coach K says hello as he starts the program off today. Coach, welcome. How are you today, pal? Okay? Yeah, great. You know, uh, you know, boy, New Orleans really put on an amazing Final Four. And uh, the, the the teams there just played so well. The games were terrific, and and uh, was an honor, really an honor, to be a part of it. Could you watch the Monday night game, Mike? After you lose on Saturday, were you able to watch that game and enjoy it? How do you handle that as a coach after you lose on Saturday night? No, no, you want to watch it. You know, you want to watch the the two teams that were victorious on Saturday, and you know see how they match up, how they handle that success that they had on Saturday. And, and, uh, and, you know, look, I've, I've been a part of college basketball for 47 years. You, you, you're I'm going to always want to watch that game no matter, no matter what. And it was a, it was a terrific game. And again, a game that, you know, one play can change the outcome. And, uh, which is kind of like what the tournament w- w- was about, you know, that, it wasn't like dominating performances. It was like a, a, a player or two making the free throws or the shot or getting the rebound. And there wasn't much differential. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, absolutely. No great teams. 100%. A yeah. lot of parity. You're right. Yeah. And a lot of really outstanding teams. And maybe maybe a bunch of great teams that were just close. Maybe. To one or another, and but I would say there was no dominant team. Uh, that's the way. I, that's the way I would look at it. And uh, and teams that, you know, like I can tell you when we played Texas Tech, Texas Tech could have won the whole thing. <laughs> you know, no question. Uh, and, yeah, no and, question. And I'm, I'm sure North Carolina would say something about UCLA. You know, in their game. You know, and it does. You know, in other words. It, it uh, only one team wins, and and uh, that's what makes this such a, a uh, such a, an amazing championship and such an amazing month because you're all chasing one thing, and only one you know one team is gonna, is is going to get it. Did and you one, did you think Kansas? Uh, what were you thinking? At, one last one on this game. What were you thinking at halftime when Kansas was down fifteen? Did you think the game was over or not? No, no. I mean, not, and I'm sure Hubert, no coach in that situation thinks it's that way because one, Kansas was playing lights out basketball coming into the game and uh, outside of that and started off the game playing lights out. And then they hit that, you know, Carolina was unbelievable. And then they, that, uh, and Kansas couldn't do anything right. But uh, to say that that was going to go on for another 20 minutes, uh, you know, uh, they're too good uh, for, uh, for that. And, and uh, Bill is uh, too good of a coach, you know. I mean, he's one of the great coaches. And uh, I thought both coaches did it. Amazing jobs, really. Uh, superb job by self, and I, you're right about Hubert Davis. Have you digested? I know on Saturday night you wanted to make sure your kids were okay. It's been three days since. Have you digested your final season and your own career, or are you uh, still in the process of making sure your kids are okay? No, you're. Well, you're. We're transitioning right now, so I'm meeting with all the players and helping John. You know, John Shire now is, gonna, is the new head coach. And uh, we're trying to work through that. So uh, you, you move on, you know. I mean, yeah, to yeah, it was an honor to be in the Final Four and play in that game. You know, uh, obviously you're disappointed with the outcome in not not winning the Saturday night game. But uh, you know, uh, look, you, you you move on. You you move on, and 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 I'm I'm like so grateful for the opportunities to be in games like that. And uh, uh, I've, had, I've been very, very fortunate to be in incredible games. And, uh, and uh, some of those games you lose. You know, you don't, an incredible game doesn't mean you've won it. 
you know, incredible game and you're in it, then overall we've won a good portion of them. Are you a reflective person, uh, regardless that there will be a period here where you are going to sit back looking at the wall at, you know, before you go to sleep and thinking about your wonderful career or you're not going to think too much about it and move on? What are you going to do there? No, I think it'll be brought up because you, I'll be doing a lot of speaking and there's stories, you know, uh, there's situations of where you handled uh, a pressure situation or you were knocked back and what did you do with that? And, and, uh, and so you're going to relate the, those things for as long as you live, you know, but you're, you're just not going to just sit back and watch movies of yourself or, or tapes of yourself. It, they, uh, th- th- yeah, to live, uh, to have a career that you share with so many people in order for you to have whatever individual success you have, it, it means that, you, you know, I've had to have it with teams, you know, and I've shared it with my family. So we'll be, you know, we'll be talking about that for, for forever. And, uh, and we have a lot to talk about. And, uh, and hopefully in talking about it creates a situation where the people who are talking about it benefit f- for some future thing. You know, like I'd love, you know, with my grandkids to, uh, as they grow, you know, as they continue to grow to where you tell a story and, and then all of a sudden they're in a situ- situation where maybe they benefit from, from that. So, uh, no, I, uh, look, I, I've... <laughs> What a life. I've, 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 I've had a really good life. Uh, are you, uh, I, I think all people, especially successful people, when they do retire, they're very worried. You know, Bear Bryant couldn't retire. You know, we all know that story. Uh, when they all retire, you know, they become a little nervous about the void not being, as you quote unquote say, the arena will bring. Are you concerned by that at all or not? No, I'm excited about uh the opportunity to do different, you know, to what, what does that mean? You know, like I just taped my Sirius XM show. Okay. Well, I, I love that show. I, I want to do more with, with that. So I'm anxious to that. I've, uh, in the process of looking through, I, I do a lot of speaking for the Washington speakers bureau and I've committed to, a few engagements that look exciting to me, you know, that, uh, you know, to be a part of it. And then I'm just, I'm, I'm not going to rush into a whole, a whole bunch because there's plenty to do. And you know what? One of the things to do is for my wife and I to just get away for a little bit and, and just have peace, you know, to, uh, to, uh, not have a, the schedule, the hectic schedule that, uh, as a head basketball coach, uh, you know, for a really good team in Division One, has for an entire year. Well, it, let's let's ask yeah. it this way: Is there a part of this is a weird one, but I'll play travel agent. Is there a part of the world that you want to see? Uh, we'll decide that. I, I want, you know, I'd like to find out what my wife wants to see. And, uh, uh, and right now, because we've been on the road so much, just being home is good. You know, like we have a, uh, a beautiful place and all my grandkids are in this, are right here. And, uh, I do know that was something I'm looking for is getting a dog. Uh, I miss my dog passed away last summer and we decided not to get another pup. Uh, with with how crazy this year would be, but uh, you know, I I love labs and I'm anxious to. Uh, wow, how about that? I, hey, fascinating. That's a good one. That's a good little nugget there. I I appreciate that little thought. Now, are you? You know, Wooden got a be got got criticized for you know never really giving Bartow or Gary Cunningham you know sort of room to breathe. Uh, I know you know those stories. How about you? Do you see yourself? No. Once yeah. next season starts, giving Shire plenty of room, do you want to hover around? What's the game yeah. plan going to be for Coach K? Yeah, I'm not a helicopter, and uh, I'm not going to. No, uh, it, John and I have an amazing relationship, and 
And uh, in fact, he's one, he's my guest on the show tonight uh, uh, on on eighty four at six, and and uh, uh, he knows. Yeah, I'll. Yeah, I've already started moving some things around and making sure that he has uh, a clear runway. And uh, and now, you know what what has to happen. He has to develop his own organization. You know, it, it's not going to be exactly the way we did it. And so he has to have room to do that. And, uh, you know, he'll have my friendship and support. And if he ever wants my opinion, which he will, uh, I'll give it to him. And, and But, you know, even for games and that, you know, like the way our stadium, you know, Cameron is, it's, I'm not going to – I know I'm not going to be at games because I'm not going to sit – what the students are, <laughs> you know, there aren't like luxury boxes or anything like that. So, but I'll watch every game, and uh, every once in a while, I'm sure I'll go to a practice. But uh, he's got to be, he's got to be able to do. He's what I would call it is he's got to be able to run his own race, and and he's very very capable of running that race. And you know, we, sh- I, I, I'll, I'll be very good about that uh, yeah, uh, excellent I'm happy there was that little rumor that you would want to come back with the coaches I don't buy that you, uh, no, you're not no, going to do that no, no that, way uh, that's well, not you that's not, not that's, uh, it, has there been a correspondence since Saturday that you can share that the audience would get a kick out of I mean the president's uh, night uh, is there somebody that we would say well look at that Monday he got a text from so and so that uh, the sports fan listens to this show every day would get a kick out of? Is there one you can tell me? You know, I would rather tell you the literally hundreds of letters from people around the country over the last, I'm just going through mail now, that are not necessarily Duke fans, but they're people that have, uh, that you've, I've written to or counseled or, done something and just like 30 years ago I I got a picture uh, I'd correspond with a nun who is in, in a retirement in Reading Pennsylvania and she just sent a picture with uh, 10 other nuns with all the and their names and ages and you know, I had sent them shirts and I and I opened that up this morning and, I, and just a big smile on my face and hmm. so yeah, I think it's important to understand the the people. It's not just the student body or the people who follow sport. You know, there there are many many people who watch you. There are many many people who they 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 think highly of you, and and that you've had an that you have an opportunity to impact in a positive way. And what the, what I found is they're not just like, thank you for doing this. So many of them relate the stories of, of how that's impacted. And that, that makes you feel good. You know, it, uh, and so more so than getting uh, a message from the president or, you know, which would be great. Don't get me wrong. Uh, these mean more, you know. The the they mean more, and uh, and uh, and I'm answering every one of them. Oh, good for you. There you go. Yeah. Um, have you thought back without going down memory lane? Because a, I don't have as much. I could do it forever with you. But when you look back at your career, have you thought uh, about your first ever win in Army against Lehigh in the last three or four days? No, I haven't. I've just no, I haven't. But I've. Uh, I really haven't reflected uh, 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 on that. On um, I haven't looked back at my career since uh, we we got beat on Saturday. I, uh, a, a big part of it is I, you know, I've just gotten through. I, I wanted to carve out a lot of time for each player on my team, so it's taken me three days. I just finished. I have four meetings today, yeah, uh, but I wanted them to be long and. We're, you know, we're 
just to thank them, but also to find out where they are and how I can help them. And and so, uh, still very much. Yeah, I'm still doing yes. what a head coach. Yeah, you are. Would do. I sense that you're doing what a head coach normally would do at the end of the year. So you haven't sat back and said, you know, this is not the middle of July where right. you can have some fun. We, do you see yourself getting to that point? Yeah, I do, and I want to get to that point, but I also want to handle the responsibilities that I've that you have as that head coach. The, the, now, a really, I was kidding with John Shire. He said, "Do you want?" Uh, I, I forgot where they're going. They're, they're Orlando. This is the first recruiting weekend. It's the open period. He said, you, "You're going to miss that." I said, "No, no. I think." That'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> I had Bill Hassan the other day, and he thought you'd been a lot fresher this postseason because you didn't have to worry about recruiting, which was the first time I had heard that, and I think there's something truth there. You there know, is. But, uh, yeah. there, there's something truth there. Does it – now, be fair here. This is a sports fan's question. Now, be fair. Give me a good answer. Does it sting a little more that it was North Carolina? For me, you know, again, a Carolina fan would say um, – you know, whatever I say is not going to be right. But uh, no, you know, uh, the, the, you know, the biggest thing Saturday night was not being able to play Monday night. And so it wouldn't matter who beat you, you know, that, that you know, look, I've coached against North Carolina 98 times, you know, and we were able to win a little bit, just a little bit more that, uh, Every every one of the losses stung, and every one of the victories felt good, but none of them had the magnet the importance of being able then to play for a national championship. So that you know, if, if that was the biggest hurt is not being when I watched the game, you you start thinking, you know, we're one play away from playing tonight. And uh, but then the reality of it, you know, if we don't make one of those plays against Michigan State, we wouldn't been in the Final Four, you know. And that's how close everything was. So, yeah, the biggest thing was, you know, you get to that Final Four, you want to play for the national championship. You you want to play for that because at the end of the day, winning that game does not give you the championship, and I recognize it, you know, uh, but winning that game gave you an opportunity to win it, and I did, we didn't have that opportunity, and that that's the thing that hurt the most. Uh, I heard about Colangelo, who was all upset. Uh, I know you're very tight with him. Did you hear yeah. from Did you hear from Bayheim or PJ? I know those are your two best buddies. Have they reached out in the last couple of days? Yeah, just the, the text. You know, they know that how busy everyone is. And with Jerry, you know, Jerry and I, Colangelo spent 11 years together with USA Basketball, building the culture and. You know, I learned so much from. So you know, we're we we have an amazing relationship. So in amazing relationships, you you know you you feel what your friend feels, the success, the joy, or the sorrow, and and then when that happens, it makes you feel good that somebody could feel that with you, and that's what Jerry. And I have, and uh, so. Are you going to miss? Are you, I know you got to run here. Are you going to miss your forays with the media? I, I don't think I had a lot of them this year. Uh, no, you were great. To, no, hundred percent. I, I don't mean yeah. that. I don't mean that negatively. I just mean the give yeah. and take with the media. You're going to miss that. Uh, yeah, I think so. You know, like uh, you know, you learn. It, it, we're in a profession where you are critiqued in, in public. You know, there are no, you know, and, and it's important. And when you say critique, when I say critique, it doesn't mean they're saying something bad about it. You know, they're, and so, so over the years, I think I learned to listen more. And, and then I would listen a lot more to somebody that I, I had shown me that they got it, you know, they, 
they they get it and uh uh so that's a whole you know when you talk about almost five decades well not every decade the beginning you're not dealing with the press that much but uh probably the last four decades and then us uh that that's a uh, an education in itself really when is the first time last thing when is the first time you're going to take a deep breath driving out of that building saying wow it's really over uh i've already taken deep breath i i haven't said it's over i i have to be quite frank with you and i'm not making this up uh, i've said it, it, it's the beginning and it's the beginning of something new something good so uh uh i you know it as a west point graduate and i was only an army officer for five years we have an expression may it be said well done uh if you've done your job i i, I can look back and i can say I, I think it was well done. Oh, I think yeah. I don't think you have to worry yeah. about that. I, I yeah. think uh, uh, we yeah. missed those. We missed these conversations. Uh, maybe Sirius XM and this little radio show, and our fans will run into you again next time you're in town. You know that. You've been a. Uh, you've been good to me with the kids and everything else. So you knock them dead. All right, man. Thank you, and I've enjoyed our our conversations. Thank you. You got it, Coach K. Great to have. 